Excellent work, Peyton. Now it's time to get down to the nitty-gritty. We surveyed a new thermal pocket nearby at Hanneman's Basin, and we'll need you to plant a T-post to drain the pocket. This is probably your most important duty, keeping the base supplied with T-Energy. Uploading the coordinates to you now. Hiya, Gracie. Got your message loud and clear. And the tunes. Great thought. Thanks. I'm here in one piece. Might be overstating it, but we made it. I'm safe. Just getting oriented. And yeah, there's nothing awkward about this at all. <laughs> Guess we're gonna have to get used to it. Keep sending, okay? Remind me why I'm out here doing this. I miss you.
your job to keep Coronas fueled by finding these thermal pockets on your own, planting T-posts, and maintaining them when they're full. Harvest them regularly, and you'll be raking in the credits in no time. Got it, boss. I think this work is just my speed. And so it went for weeks and months until the extraordinary became commonplace. Dealing with the cold and wild life became the new routine. Intense is real, but routine. I kept my sanity and wits by not thinking too deeply about what I was seeing and doing. It got lonesome sometimes, out in the Badlands. But music and weekly messages from the missus kept me company. I was making great dough, getting choice contracts. That was the point after all. I made friends with the crew. They were a right good sort, those guys. Even LaRoche, for all his bluster, had his moments. For better or worse, I became Braddock's go-to guy. It had its benefits, but sometimes being the one to get the call meant you ended up in some damn strange situations. <coughs> I'm a set of juice. The one time I want an acre to attack. <laughs> what was that? Something about getting the call. Yeah, right. Well, now you know how hard it is to communicate off world. In those days, Nivek had a workaround. An antenna relay on the highest heart. peak in the area, so we can call home to Mama with minimal storm interference. It's our lifeline. Two hours ago, we went offline, and we don't know why. We're effectively cut off from sending and receiving any off-world communications. Uh, some acrid probably got his claws into it. So once again, you expect me to march out there and fight a horde of monsters in a rig without weapons, huh? Do you know how much of my income I waste on repairs? I want guns on my rig, a simple chain gun. My hands are tied. Nevik regulations. Yes, yes, don't weaponize the construction vehicles, but I mean in this but case... nothing. I'm not gonna jeopardize my operation because of your nerve deficit. It's called hazard pay for a reason. Oh, please. Hey, boss. Just nurse Comsat's offline. Yeah. Mind if I hustle down the relay station? Give her a gander? I was just talking to Mr. LaRoche about that very thing. Apparently he's got some concerns about making nice with the wildlife. Well, no, I don't want to just snake a man's contract. No, no, no. Take it. Get yourself killed. Not for at least double, I mean. Done. What? Be back by supper time. 